That's cool, yes. And he was older than us where he was yeah. like, he knew his shit. And well, he was a guy that like, you know, Bobcat had that crazy act early on where he yeah, 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 and yeah. then he decided he didn't want to do it anymore. Yes, and yes, then yes. he would just do stand-up and yeah. people were like, hey, where's Bobcat? Yeah, right. He, like, took, Fuck you. Yeah, you know? he fucking had, he, yeah. he stayed strong with quitting it. Yeah, he had to say he he, uh, he did a, a a show with me about a year ago. He came out a couple of times, I think, and fucking murdered. He's or, a funny guy. Yeah, yeah. He, he was always a very funny stand-up. Yeah, he, but he was trapped in that character right. that he did. That screaming, sure. crazy, pull your hair out character. Yes. You know, it's like there's guys that have characters like Emo Phillips. He had the- I'm trying to be comfortable on stage. You know, right. And that's also- what you had going on your uh, live show. I was like, oh shit, comfortable. Fucking not terrified. You you sat in moments. Not not easy to do. I was in the zone. You, you were know? in the zone. Right, Don't fuck right. This up. Shit. Don't fuck up this pre- wow. segue. Don't fuck this up. That's Don't fuck- funny. You can't think like that. You have to. Th- I felt like when I'm at my best, I'm only thinking about the thing I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah. the you lock the audience. Yes. In. I think stand up is a form of hypnosis. Yes. Do you think so too? Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, you, I get exactly what you're saying. You lock them in lock to the it. way you're. And when I'm yes. seeing a guy kill on stage, yeah. Yeah. I'm locked in to the yes. way they're thinking. I'm letting them think for me. I'm just like right. think for me, right? You know, and they're yeah, like, yeah, ah, yeah. this is so funny. It's just so crazy. It's I cut a lot of stuff. You yeah, know? but I, it's been <laughs> six years since my last special. Like I said, I was thinking about doing a special in August of 2020. Yeah. Then the country shut down, and then I didn't do stand up for eight months. And when I did do stand up again, I remember I had to listen to old recordings. Yeah. Luckily, I record everything. So yeah, well, all, that's good. I have all my recordings on my phone, so I listen oh, to that's stuff. Smart, and then man. I had to write things out. But I remember the first set that I did, I did the Houston Improv. And I hadn't done stand up in forever. Uh-huh. And I remember when I was on stage, I was like, ooh, this is yeah. weird. Uh huh. Yeah. For an hour. Right. Just watch me. You're gonna it's worth your time. <laughs> <laughs> I know you drove, you got babysitters. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is here we go. Yeah, you bought tickets in advance, you planned your day out. What a psycho of a human being to just go, <laughs> Let me fucking come look at this. Yeah, you have to be out of your fucking mind. Yeah. Or just really prepared. Yeah, You'd man. Be so prepared. My my special this one. I did uh, probably two and a half hours of shit and had to cut it. We, you know, Josh uh, Safty and we all had to pick the right, the shit we thought was the right shit. Mm. That's, but I, I did have so much shit. I, by the time I did the special, I, I just came off the road.